Okay, folks, today's weight is 268.6. Yeah. All right, folks, um, today's weight is 268.6. Well, that is good, I think. That's pretty good. Um, I'm starting to get used to eating at a lower calorie intake. But what was concerning me was I was dropping all the way down below 1,000 calories I worked my way slowly back up to 1500. So yesterday I had about 1500 calories, but with a lot of protein. I even had a little teeny dessert because it was Sunday. So I had like a teeny little thing ice cream again, but just very small. And I was very aware of everything I've been eating. And I think what was happening in the earlier days was I was not, I still was not consciously aware of everything I was eating. And now I'm very aware when I put something in my mouth, oh, that's something in my mouth, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, get used to have something in your mouth and say, well, I'm, I got food in there. So I think I'm doing pretty well and I also did a lot of exercise yesterday. But what I'm encouraged is that um, I was able to raise my calories without regaining weight. That was my biggest concern was that I'd have a rebound. I do think that some of the weight I lost was a lot of water, but when I'm lowering my carbohydrates, like yesterday, for example, my carbohydrates were up at 60 grams. Um, the, that's like the maximum I'm doing on a low carb. And, and at one point, my carbohydrates were like two or three grams. That's why I was losing a lot of weight at, at quickly at first. But I think that something's happening, folks. I think I'm switching from burning carbs to burning fat. That's, the, that's the, the whole point of the Atkins diet or the keto diet. But I'm not doing extreme version of it. I'm doing something that I can have some carbohydrates, but just, you know, not a whole lot. I'm getting most of my calories from my protein is first, my fat is second, and my carbs are last. But before, I was, I was, when I was tracking my macros, I noticed that my carbohydrates were over 200 grams a day. That's way too high. And that might explain why the weight loss was so slow. Yes, you can lose weight that way, but it's going to be painfully slow because, you know, your carbohydrates, car carbo and hydrate. Hydrate was that water, right? So you're getting a lot of water in there. I keep saying I'm having water weight. Well, essentially, it is kind of water weight. And until you switch your, your macros you're not going to see the results. So finally seeing the results of a lower carbohydrate diet. I've really, I'm very encouraged now, folks. So now I feel motivated to really keep going. And I feel like I feel very comfortable at 1500 calories. It's pretty low. Um, and I think ultimately I want to raise a little more, but I feel comfortable. Now, what I will tell everybody is you have to find out if you're, what your goal weight is, and then just, um, um, add a zero. So my goal weight, right, is 190 pounds, right? More or less. I mean, I might even, 12% body fat or 190 pounds, whichever comes first. And so if my goal weight is 190 pounds, then I want to have about 1,900 calories a day. So, and consistently, it has to be consistent. And it does take a while to adjust. So gradually, folks, I'm going to go back up slowly to 1,900 calories a day. Around 1,900, maybe even th maybe 2,000 on the days of exercise. That's a very sustainable. That's a very sustainable lifestyle. I'm not. I'm not going to eat 1,200 calories a day, um, and keep doing that. That's not a good idea at all. But 1,900, 2,000 is very good for, uh, uh, you know, my age and and my phenotype and everything. So, I think that would be great. So. I'm very encouraged, folks, to keep going. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. And remember, folks, say a prayer for someone special today. Bye-bye.